Phrases Panda lets you create customizable templates in a few clicks. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a HPI template and go from a simple text template to a Phrases Panda dynamic form that is very easy to customize. Click on New Template and start typing or copy and paste a block of text that you want to turn into a template. Assign an optional description and an abbreviation. To launch your template, type the abbreviation in the test pad or in any application and press the Shift key to confirm. If the inserted text requires further customizations, Phrases Panda Variables lets you make changes before sending the text to the active application. Add a new fill-in variable to request the patient name. Each variable has a unique name and an optional label. Add a variable for the age of the patient and use the custom text to customize the variable output. Clicking on Preview shows you the final output. Now, create a list variable to enter the patient's gender. Use the date macro to insert the current date. Variables can be used to command other variables as well. Create a new text variable to manage the pronouns. Use the if macro to display a different pronoun based on the gender variable. Now, continue adding variables by selecting the text you want to replace and customizing the variable options. At any time, click on Preview to check how the final result looks like. When creating a variable from a list of items, Phrases Panda creates a list variable and populates it with the predefined values. Choose a multi selection list, and Phrases Panda will combine the selected elements in natural language. Fill ins can be used to create positive and negative lists from text based on the selection. Set a custom text for the items marked as yes, reuse variables and adapt their casing as needed, in the custom negative text, type the text that is displayed for the items marked as no. Choose the Yes, No and A option to create both positive and negative phrases. Creating optional sections is fast as well, thanks to the section macro. This creates blocks of text and fill-ins that can be toggled with a click. Use the browse variable to use a variable.
and add more for all the parts that needs to change. If you want to display in the form a value that is different from the text that will end up in your note, add the description in square brackets before your predefined values. Adding a star in front of a predefined item pre-selects it, turning it into the default choice. To test the final template, type the abbreviation in the testpad. And here is the result of the template we have just created.